could send a Mac, you just need a couple of things. You need software called Proximity or Bluetooth Unlock, and then you need to pair your phone with your computer. So to do that, you go into the Bluetooth Preferences and System Preferences, and you have to click the plus button to add your phone if you don't have it already. Otherwise, you can click this gear, and you can choose Connect to Network. When your phone's connected, you can just go into Proximity Preferences, and you'll see some options here. First, enable device monitoring and check every 10 seconds. That's how often Proximity will look for the connected device. Immediately run scripts on startup if enabled and in range. That will run scripts that you choose. And then check for updates on startup just to make sure it continues to update. You want to click change device to add your device if it's not in there already. Mine is. And then you want to put your out of range script and your in range script. So I've already put together a couple of scripts in Apple Script Editor. You'll see I have two scripts here. One is called Lock Mac and one is called the Unlock Mac script. So in the first script, we're telling application system events to start the screensaver on a random screensaver, and then that's it. So when the screensaver starts on OS X, it can lock your Mac. And then if it stops, it would unlock your Mac. Now we need to make sure that lock screen is enabled on our screensaver. So if you go into the security settings in system preferences, you'll find that you can check a checkbox under general that says require password immediately after sleep or screensaver begins. So you want to make sure that's set and that will require your login password. So with that set up, you can save each of these scripts as you see them. And you'll, on lifehacker.com in the article you'll find the actual text if you don't want to type this out from the video. And then you'll add these to proximity. Now you just have to locate your scripts. You click the change button next to out of range script. And when we're out of range we want to lock the map because the phone's not nearby anymore. And when we're in range want to unlock it. And so once you've done that, that's all you need to do to set it up. Now when you walk away from your computer, it will lock, and when you come nearby, it will unlock. Alternative option on the Mac is called Bluetooth Unlock, and you can use Bluetooth Unlock by buying it from the Mac App Store for $2. The downside of this is obviously that you have to pay, but it is a little easier to set up as you don't have to write any Apple scripts. As you can see here, I've selected my Nexus 4 as the device and said minimum signal strength has to be here in order for it to unlock. I've set a password for a fallback if the device isn't present. The background's just set to whatever. And then there, and then there's a delay in some other settings. So by setting this up, all I have to do is walk away or approach the computer and it will lock or unlock. Of course, you will want to have your screensaver lock disabled if you're using Bluetooth Unlock instead.